वेलकम एवरीवन टू सिलेनियम ट्रेनिंग बाय विजडम ट्रेनिंग्स हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टेक द कोड दिस कोड दैट वी हैव डन इन द लास्ट वीडियो टू अ नेक्स्ट लेवल now over here you have seen that in the last video that how i can handle different browsers i can open different browser by given just a single command by changing the name of the browser just right but some question comes up that one the few questions i have answered but some questions are still to be answered like for example the code is that you have to test flipkart.com you have to automate flipkart.com on different browsers like you have to open up on firefox you have you have the same script and you have to perform the same thing on chrome on edge on internet explorer and you have to do it a number of times so at that time what is the solution what is the solution how will i be able to write the test cases like if i change the code a little So over here on Chrome browser, I'm also opening Flipkart.com. On Firefox also, I'm opening Flipkart.com. On Edge also, I'm opening Flipkart.com. On and on IE also, I'm opening Flipkart.com. So over here, there are few things. First, that there is repetition of code, right? which i don't want in my code that there is kind of repetition again and again i'm writing the same code just what is being changed the browser name that i don't want so how i can handle this situation how will i be able to overcome this situation so it's very very simple how you can do that i can just use the decision making statements to overcome this issue and according to the browser which i want to open only the script can be run right so if i'll just make one more module and i name it as dynamic browsers then in this case i'll just will have a simple variable and i'll name it as browser name and this could be anything that you can enter later on now i am not aware that which particular browser will be passed in this browser name variable so i'll keep it as drive web driver dot driver is equals to none that means i am not aware i am keeping it blank for the time now over here i need to import this import this name so over here it got imported now what i can do is taking the use of the decision making i can take it further if browser name is equals to chrome then i want my driver to run this command web driver dot chrome same way the firefox can also be passed so i can have the elif keyword over here for multiple condition checks if browser name is equals to firefox then i want my firefox browser to open using the command dot firefox same way i can have it for the another ones browser name is equals to h now over here the conditions that you are giving if it is according to the case sensitivity like over here i am giving chrome with a capital c so while you are passing the variable while you are passing the variable to the data to the variable do make sure the same is being passed what's written in the condition otherwise it's going to react abnormally and will not open up the browser you want okay then i have elif browser name is equals to i am having it for internet explorer done driver equals to web driver dot ie and done 
at the end i'm also having a else condition then in any case i forgot to pass on the data to the variable i for just kept it blank so in that case i don't want an unexpected error to come so i'll have a else block that if something went wrong it goes in the else block and close the condition so i'll say no browser specified okay this i want to do now over here in the conditions i have given the command to open up different browsers i can also pass on the command to open up the url as well i can use the get function over here and i can pass the url but that will also be the repetition because i have to give the same commands in all the conditions because i want to test the same script on different browsers so that script i will not have over here this condition will also will only work for my browsers to be open fine once this is done once you have completed the condition then you can move on and you can say driver is equal driver dot get url or uh, sorry get function and over here you can pass the url now url i'll be copying from here only from the previous module and done also what i want to do is i don't want the number of browsers to kept open after the execution i want to close all of them once the execution is completed so i will be using a command a generic function that is a quit function which will close my browser after the execution this is a very use uh, this is a very good practice you will be having a practice that unrequired browsers are not open it will be easy to manage for you as well fine so this is what i need to do now for the time i have not been given any value to this variable till time so it's going to give me an error that no browser specified that is from the else block it's coming it's giving me an error from the this part because the driver is not specified so it's not able to operate these commands now if i'll pass on some very uh, some variable let's say i'm passing firefox or let's say chrome okay now if i run this it has opened the chrome browser it will take me to flipkart.com once the page is loaded it will automate the quit command that we have used will automatically terminate this execution and will close my browser also so flipkart.com is loading right now so i'll wait for it to be loaded and you can see yourself that the browser automatically got closed i have not done anything it was constant for me okay so this way if you have a single script and you want to test it on multiple browsers this is the best way that you can do that also the error that i was getting for this point that also you can handle how you can handle that by using the try except block you can have a try block over here and you can say that if if driver is not equals to none if it is not equals to none then only execute these commands otherwise otherwise just wait just simply catch into the except block we have already seen the exception handling part so it will be easy for you to know this now i know which error i was getting it was a name error right so i can have it as name error as n and print me the stack trace error this also is a good practice to keep it in the catch block okay it's giving me some warnings like re remove unrequired parentheses this will work in eclipse uh, this will work in pycharm if you don't have the parentheses around the conditions given but this is not going to work in eclipse you have to give the pa parentheses so you can ignore the warnings which are coming for parentheses only and you can keep on working with the code that's why there are weak warnings 
okay now if i run this and now i'm not giving any value to the browser name variable this time you can see yourself that no error has came up it has been normally terminated by catching the exception in the except block okay so this way you can handle the different browser the dynamic browsers for single scripts as well okay so this was all for this video i'll request you guys to do practice this because it will help you to understand how the flow is going how try catch block is applicable over here and if you put some specific error name how it's going to be if it is exception you are giving the whole class then so it will come only by practice so practice it and i'll see you in the next video till the time to practice and thank you